Hi and a big warm welcome to another video in the R Shane series. This video is brought to you by the Academy of Holistic Mediumship in working partnership with www.shanegag.com. So we've got a real corker of a question. I really want to thank all of you for your questions, your comments, your feedback, um, and all your thoughts and feelings. Um, as much as I don't always find the time to reply to each and every one of you believe me i read all your comments and all your feedback and all of your questions and i really value them so we've got a corker of a question that's coming from spirit world intervention so a video that was done previously within the r shane series spirit world intervention and this is a corker and it's from bridget um Bridget Eve, Bridget, thank you. Um, Bridget um, is one of our long-term subscribers to the channel um, from the very early days. Um, so Bridget goes on to say, um, my greater sixth sense is the feeling one. I think that's a really interesting point because I think, you know, all of us receive contact or, or, or feel spirit in many different ways I always say when i'm mentoring and i'm training people it's about identifying how you receive contact um and predominantly one of the most powerful ways that so many of us receive contact is feeling now that can often be missed it can be often overlooked and you know in this last week i was talking to a lovely lady um across the pond there in the united states was saying you know the situation she had gone through with a level of kind of trauma and in a way what trauma does is it shut down it shuts down a, a sense of feeling it's self-preservation um and then you kind of almost have a sense of not feeling or a sense of numbness um and you know that that sometimes is why you are not sensing or feeling you know there's almost a, a sense of not feeling ev anything from feeling everything to not feeling anything now it, it, this sense of contact through feeling can be incredibly subtle only last night i was working with a lady on a consultation um and it was a face-to-face -face consultation and i'm kind of sitting there and i'm working away with her and i glance down um to the far side of the room and now on the far side of the room i've got an old um record player vintage retro record player um from i think it is um early 70s and it's an old panasonic um original speakers beautiful little little record player and next to it is um, a collection in a lot of kind of basket. There's a collection of vinyl that I've got. Um, and I've had that some of that vinyl for the best part of, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 years. So a fair time. And um, I looked over and I just glanced at the vinyl and thought, hold on a minute. My, my eyes and my gaze hovered over that record collection a little bit longer than what would be normal maybe or natural you know it's like you're daydreaming for a moment and your gaze is carried there and i recognized that you know i i recognized it and i noted it and then i looked at lady and i said your dear husband who's in spirit did he love vinyl is there a lot of vinyl did he love music she said he absolutely loved vinyl he collected vinyl he collected records i said you still got his collection at home she smiled and says yes i have i said well i was looking through mine and not really liking it and she laughed you know so it was really really subtle but what took me there was feeling okay so as bridget says my greater sixth sense is the feeling one i sense when presence presences are in a place i never see anything you know very rarely rarely do i see I, I i i sense 
and then internally I see the shape and form starts. Sometimes I can see a flash out the corner of my eye, I can see movement, but more than not, it's through feeling, and I identify where the presence is, it's spatial awareness, and then I begin to see. Okay, um, Bridget says, I've never um, seen anything ever, um, but usually objects move about, or I notice the energy moving through furniture and objects. I don't know what exactly it is, but I can tell if it is a positive or a negative, and that no doubt has been discerned by Bridget through feeling and knowing. I don't know what exactly it is, but I can tell you if it's positive or negative, ill or good feeling. It's an absolute knowing, and that comes with a conviction. Um, I did have one which was so dark and heavy and evil in feeling. And I think, you know, that's the thing. We've all had that that kind of sense of that in, in different degrees. It's a bit like when you meet somebody for the first time, you're either warm towards them or there's something you're just not warming to. You imagine that being really enhanced, really, really, really enhanced, and that's what Bridget is talking about. And I absolutely hear that, know that, have felt that within my within my own journey, within my own path and my own career is that feeling of real ill feeling, heavy, dark, and it kind of the only way to describe it, you know, language is very powerful, um, is evil. Now I don't want to concern or worry um or kind of trouble anybody. You know, um one of my previous videos, I'm gonna make a note here um psychic protection um one of the, my previous videos that i talk about uh was about psychic protection and the only psychic protection you ever need i.e your attitude um you know i remember being asked you know i was i was being kind of interviewed at the time and i was asked you know so what do you do um these days uh regarding psychic protection and I looked at them, smiled, and thought it's a very, very important question. And actually, what has become my form of protection is my attitude. But that has come over time, okay? Um, so attitude is everything, you know, um, and having a very good, solid sense of self. But absolutely, without a shadow of doubt, I absolutely understand um, and have experienced um, what you are sharing there, Bridget. Um, I did have one which was so dark and heavy, evil in feeling that I literally called a friend for help. I grabbed my purse and stayed at my friend's home for the next two days and I had no plans to ever go back. I'm not easily shaken up like that. Um, and that is the, the really, really important point is that, you know, Bridget wasn't looking for that experience, wasn't wasn't kind of hunting it out, wasn't looking for the the excitement of that experience um, and for her not to want to go back and being shaken at that level shows you how real that experience is, you know. Um, you know, it's just like, you know, what we've got to kind of consider here, here is out in the world we have really wonderful, incredible, beautiful people and we have some not so wonderful, incredible, beautiful people and it's the same with with that energy and and more times than not what what we're tapping into at that level is not just a spirit it is a energy it is what we would call a thought form or you can go a little bit deeper and say well actually that's like an entity okay um some of my previous videos there psychic protection links will be within this video um will really kind of explain that um, really kind of get to grips with some of that as well. Um, I'm not easily shaken up like that, but this felt like the energy of a powerful entity. There you go, because I've not read the question. Um, I always purposely um, read the questions um, in their raw form. Um, so an energy of a powerful entity. Um, not necessarily a master or a white brother, yet definitely not the feeling that comes from an average human spirit exactly mirroring our, our words and experiences there, Bridget. Um, and I think that we can, I think going forward, we, we will look at that. 
Um, it's not something that um, it is discussed often. Entities, what are they? We will look at that. Okay, we will look at that. Um, and it is covered off um, psychic protection, the only psychic protection you ever need. Um, and I really do feel that. I have a question regarding another subject. I firstly want to just say, that, Bridget, thank you for sharing your, your heartfelt experience and the depth you have shared it. Um, I've, I've said this um, before, um, I really honour the, these questions at, these le at this level because they're very real, they're very honest, they're very heartfelt, okay, and that is what helps us all grow. I have a question regarding another subject, Shane, it is this, what is the reason for a spirit or other dimensional type visit visiting me to have a passive yet present the whole time and i i really get that that sense of someone there but they're not really communicating with you something there but not not really kind of engaging but the presence is there and it's a constant and that's that passive feeling that feeling of someone there with you but not intrusively which is the passive feeling. I remember, you can see her over my shoulder, I remember when she first showed herself in her original form, was she was there often. And it was just this sense of, every time I kind of tuned in, she was there. And she was emanating a warmth, and she was emanating a presence. But there was this sense of non-communication. And what I've kind of figured about that is that sometimes when 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 our guides move into that space is like there's a sense of almost harmonizing harmonizing between you and them and i also feel and this is another question that's that's raised who are our guides and and i kind of wonder you know are our guides a reflection of our higher self okay in a past incarnation uh, which is why quite often they're always present you know imagine a, another human being always being uh, constantly present with another human being it, it it kind of wouldn't work all of the time and that's what you sometimes experience is your guides are constantly there so the question is uh, is it a separate entity or is it a reflection of your higher self and a reflection of a previous incarnation i really believe that's what a guide is i've really led to believe that's what a guide is with some of the conversations i have with some of the really kind of um evolved people um that i i'm really honored to share time with and i i do sense that you know so it does it kind of that that constant feeling that's very kind of passive but is constantly there and i remember after a time and this was the clue that that led me to my thoughts about a guide is that after a while of that happening and me thinking why are they just there you know why are they passively but consistently there and i turned to them and i turned to her in her original form and said to her who are you and what are you about i've shared that before but who are you and what are you about her reply to me was who are you and what are you about i then spent the next two years exploring that question so that really does steer um the thoughts to maybe they are a reflection of our higher self so bridget goes on to say um spirit or other dimensional type visiting me to have a passive yet present the whole time is it an escort or a guide a traveling companion their presence with my friend seems to be essential required and important i think at some level they're imparting they're imparting so they're harmonizing they're harmonizing which is that sense of being fully present passive but consistent they're harmonizing and i wonder also 
that harmonization is a sense of imparting uh, wisdom, imparting knowledge, kind of influencing um, by just radiating their presence. You know, when you're around people um, quite often that are influential in your life, it's their aura, their presence that influences you before the words even do. Um, and I feel that's the same with the other side. They like harmonize, integration, eminence, shared information, non-verbal communication, um, which may be why it feels, and I think you, the way you express yourself is just absolutely spot on and beautiful, is it seems to be essential, required and important. She, in her original form, showed herself for about nine years. In this last two years, her form changed and she was constantly there and it felt very required and hugely important then she changed her form in in the form she shows herself and it wasn't original form wasn't dissimilar it was just there was a little bit more maybe humility to it and that is very different but it really did feel almost um, required, important and essential. Um, they are not paired with all others, just a few I have noticed lately and if important to mention these are these meetings are outside in public places and, and that's interesting as well you know what what is that about I kind of get a sense of when I kind of listen to that and I get a feeling of that, these are teachers. This, without a doubt, is a high vibrational energy. It is showing me a luminous white. You know, there's this just this huge vastness of a luminous white. The other thing, Bridget, and I really look forward to your feedback and your comments and thoughts on this, is that it's unnaturally, unnaturally very, very tall. So there's an unnatural sense of height to this presence. It is beyond six foot. And it has this towering feeling. But at the same time, it is very, very warm and very gentle. It is um, very unintrusive. That's the word I was after. It's very, very unintrusive. But I'm seeing why... And I get this feeling of almost want to say white gown, white robes, white cloak. Um, and I can just feel this gentleness coming from the eyes. And now I'm seeing more than one. And I'm seeing what feels to be um, light features. The, the skin tone is very light and there's a lightness in the hair. It's almost kind of blonde white and I'm being shown what feels to be a well and them surrounding themselves around a well I don't know I, I look forward to your comments and feedback but my feeling is is that this is all about imparting knowledge or wisdom and importantly reminding people to remember so it's it's about remembering information remembering who they are see the thing is you are a change maker you are a catalyst of change you stir up thought Bridget you challenge a non-truth you cannot stand non-truth integrity is at the core of who you are and you stir up and challenge change. And I think that maybe this is um, an energy that is working with you. Um, so it's a teacher, which I think may be most definitely different to a guide because I think a guide could be a mirror reflection of us. This is a teacher that is working, an energy that is working around you and has been there for some time. But I kind of feel that this energy this person um would have come from an order going back 
and when I'm in an order, this is this feels to be um, of almost not solitude because there's 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 sense of community, but it's definitely an island. And I, I do get the west coast of Scotland going off and we're going back way, way, way back in time. And it feels like a magical order um, of healers, of herbalists, of those that were seers. Okay, and that has some connection. You have some connection to that. Um, and also you are a dreamer, but you are really grounded and there's a rawness to you. You take no nonsense, no rubbish. Um, and I kind of feel that in a way you are a catalyst to change. So uh, you come into people's lives, you create change, and sometimes those friendships and, and relationships move forward. Other times they kind of just fall to the wayside because the work has been done. Okay, love to hear your thoughts. That's some of what I'm feeling from this. Um, and the other thing I feel with it is it is, you know, transitional. Do you create transitional change in people? And sometimes it's like a rite of passage. So that may be why with your with your friend it seems to be essential, required and important. Okay, because it's it's taking taking your friend for a transition which is like a rite of passage. I'm going to leave all of that with you. Thank you so much for your brilliant, outstanding question. Thank you all for your comments and feedback. As always, it is a heartfelt pleasure. Um, and what I will do is going forwards, we can, we can explore um, some of what we've picked up on today in a deeper way with a deeper insight until the next time um goodbye from myself and i'll be seeing you all very very soon take care guys keep shining bye bye